Well, hello, hello, and welcome to my situatory. It is a gloriously sunny day here in Scotland. Um, happy Friday, if it's Friday with you. So, <laughs> this week, when I've been planning out these videos, I've been kind of like looking at all of the emails that I get from people about things and, and kind of like picking out topics and thinking, well, that would be quite an interesting thing to talk about. And one of the things that often comes up is how do I run a business? How have I built a business while having autoimmune diseases which um, have a large amount of chronic fatigue within them? So I, <laughs> I never have much energy. Um, so that's something that people ask me a lot because it's not just when people get um, autoimmune diseases that they face this but also you know um, perimenopause and um, having children and caring for um, relatives and this kind of thing it just it it can take away a lot of your energy and then you're having to think about how you manage your days if you're wanting to actually do joyous things in them so I was always going to be speaking about the idea of pacing, um, but then, as we last week, as we headed north for my birthday weekend, I became aware that a rash that I had dismissed as maybe being the rubbing of a bra strap clearly wasn't. Um, it was getting really, really sore, and um, it turns out that I have shingles right around here. Very lucky, it's not on my head, it's quite um, contained, but it was very sore. And now I'm on um, painkillers, I'm a wee bit wheezy, um, wee bit kind of like, whoa. Um, but all medical advice is to rest, um, and that it's really, really important that to allow your body to um, combat the virus, particularly if you have a dodgy autoimmune system like me, you really have to rest. So, in my greenhouse, I still have thousands of seedlings I need to go out. Um, it's a glorious day, I have lots of things to do for an exhibition. Um, the idea of sitting around, particularly when it's like kind of invisible, um, and resting is a really difficult one for me. So I thought that this week I might kind of address that and look realistically at the things that need doing and working out how I'm going to address that, given that I'm not going to be doing all of them because I am resting. <laughs> so, shall we see how we get on? Um, and then I'll... I'll <laughs> it's not quite pacing, it's kind of like um, going to be an extreme version of pacing. Um, so let's see how we get on. Right, so this is the greenhouse. You can see that some things have kind of got trapped in here. So there are some beans. Um, leaks but the biggest thing is that I have lots and lots of indigo that I was wanting to get planted out some into the tunnel um, and some into the garden and I really wanted to get that done this week because look at the roots under there um, so that's making me a wee bit anxious And it's looking good at the moment, but it really needs to go outside or into the tunnel, give it more space. On a side note, you'll see all over the greenhouse there are bits of Weetabix. This is to distract the slugs. So over here, more indigo and some artichokes and some cosmos. And a whole load of things that should really be headed out. 
and that's dahlias uh, grown from seed some more perennials from seed more indigo though these ones were not as successful because I batch sewed them straight into the modules I think but they'll be fine here you can see that I have some sweet peas which definitely should be in the garden I mean look they're actually ready to bloom it's ridiculous we have seedlings that really should have been out last week and particularly these beans so really these beans should have been out maybe last week and the same with these and then up here which is kind of like the garden um, outside the main door look at all of the sweet sicily there and it is my intention to pick it all and dry it which is quite a lot of work while we're here look at that apple tree And then I have this, which I'm wanting to pick all of these beautiful red um, Herb Roberts and press them. And actually, I think that's a job that I can probably do that counts as resting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list of all of those things. Um, that are kind of like clogging up my head, get it out of my head. Put it on the ground. Um, so, like the indigo needs to go into the tunnel, and all of those seedlings by the steps need to go into the garden. Um, something needs done about those poor, poor sweet peas, and and so on. And then I'm going to either delegate, or you know, decide that something doesn't need doing or with the things that I can work out a way of doing it while I'm um, like taking things easy, sitting down and so on, then I will do those myself and we'll see how we get on. And of course, as soon as I begin to write things down and actually get them out of my head onto paper and to sort them out, it seems a lot less daunting. So this book that I was writing into is a printed out version of the A Wild Away Planner, which is something that everybody in the studio club has access to. And it's kind of a way of making sure that you fit things into your life that you actually want to do rather than always leaving them till the end um, and never managing to quite get round to them. So um, I'll put a link here because all of the videos that are a wild away um, and the planning sheets and so on are available here for free. Um, so I'll put that here. And within the planner there are these kind of quadrant pages that you can use for anything um, and here I've just used it for um, urgent not urgent and things that I need to do and things that I can delegate and sorting the list like that it then becomes very clear that with those seedlings that were kind of a bit desperate I can ask my friend Eileen if she will come and plant them for me and with the indigo which Yes, I would like to get that planted out today, but realistically, as long as it's kept watered, later on in the week isn't going to be a big problem. So that sort of just gets moved a bit. And then when all I have to do now is deal with the Herb Robert, so to so pick that and sort through it and put it into a flower press, if that's the only thing that I actually need to do this afternoon, then I think that definitely counts as resting. So now I'm feeling much more in control of what's happening and much less sort of guilty and 
frustrated about the fact that I'm meant to be sitting doing very little for the next few days. Um, and I'm now looking forward to just sitting and watching the garden, <laughs> watching Eileen work, and um, I'm going to finish up this book, which I was actually sent by Chelsea Green, um, the publishers. But it is a really interesting book um, by Maria Rodale, Love, Nature, Magic. And it's about um, shamanic journeying, which is something that I knew nothing about and how that fits into Maria's relationship with her own um, garden and the surrounding area. Um, anyway, I, <laughs> I'm going to leave you with some um, footage from the garden and of Eileen working if I can persuade her and um, I will see you next Friday and hopefully by then I will be back full fitness off the painkillers off the antivirals and uh, ready to go so have a lovely weekend and I'd love to hear from you um, in the comments it really makes my day when I get a comment Steal away, live for the moment you say we'll be just fine Under the stars we talk for hours, the tales you spoke so divine My old friend, where are you going to? Let's raise a glass Days to come this time is ours, let's make a memory that lasts We didn't